and welcome to Erky's World. First of all, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your love and support so much. So as you've read by today's title, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and first impression review of the Delta Children Emirate Deluxe 6-in-1 Convertible Crib. Now, I want to do a full review for you guys, but obviously I'm still pregnant. Can you see? You'll see it in the video. <laughs> um, so little Romeo will not be able to test it out for you guys. So that's why I'm just going to be doing a first impression review. So before I get into the video, I want to thank Delta Children for sending me this crib to do this video for you guys. Now with that being said, I know I've done sponsored videos in the past before, but these are still my honest reviews. Um, I know we have built a mutual trust that you guys trust me to tell you my honest opinions and my first reviews and all that good stuff for you guys and i answer the questions that you guys have for me to the best of my abilities so with that being said thank you again tell to children for sending me this crib so before i do the unboxing and put this thing together with you guys um i just wanted to go over make sure i say everything correctly of what's on the website with this crib the reason why i chose this one i chose this one in gray just because it actually turns into a towel bed so it can grow with them i wanted white to fit the aesthetic but then um i don't think when my son is 10 years old he wants a white bed frame so i felt like gray was a little bit more male friendly <laughs> so um but it does come in three different colors gray bianca white and dark chocolate um, and the main reason why I chose this crib specifically is because it turns into six different things and it grows with your baby. So um, it converts to a toddler bed, a day bed, a sofa, full size bed with headboard and footboard, and a full size bed with headboard only. That is amazing. So I only need one thing for him and um, he can grow with it until he's like 10, 12. I don't know once he's a teenager he'll probably want something else but <laughs> um i can pull it back into a crib for the next baby so that is totally amazing and then with the crib you can adjust it to three different heights um high medium and low obviously <laughs> um as the baby grows also obviously you want to have it to the high one if they can start picking themselves up and another main reason why i chose delta children is because they are actually budget friendly but they put the child safety first so um they build really quality um cribs um all sorts of products like toys um bassinets um what else the tables chairs toddler nursery anything you can think of for babies they got it for you so with all that being said let's unbox this crib see if the assembly is easy um obviously i'm still pregnant so if it's too heavy for me i gotta wait till hubby comes home but um i'll be back <laughs> and um tell you guys my first impressions hey guys future me here so if you're here to see like a step-by-step -step how to assemble the crib i'm not gonna do that because i do cut out a lot of um dead film for you guys but um i do kind of go step by step and show you guys what i did come across and the challenges that i did come across going step by step so um, i don't show you the whole assembly but i do show you some things that i did come across so if you watch the whole thing um i'm sure i'm very 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 sure <laughs> that you will get some good tips in there too well um you're thinking about getting this crib or you're um, trying to put together and assemble the crib also so enjoy Okay, so I just unboxed everything. Um, so there's not too many pieces. There's like these bars and then the main big pieces and then you have the bottom piece. 
Um, but as you can see, everything is clearly labeled really big. Um, you have all your tools and hardware that you need right here. Okay, so with the labels, I just figured out there's like letters on them. So that's where these letters come in. And then um, you'll see like there's letters that are labeled for each hardware also. Like T and then X and then U. Um, those are also labeled right here. So um, everything's going to be easy for you. <laughs> I had to kind of figure that out, but I'm here to do that work for you guys. <laughs> Okay, so I finished the first piece. It did take me about 15 minutes to do. Um, basically, I just put all the pieces together and then I worked my way around to put the bolts in. Um, just because I got a little confused, but once you broke it down step by step, which you should do anyway, <laughs> um, it all came together and it all made sense. So I'm moving on to the next one. Sorry I didn't film much of that, but I didn't want too much dead film for you guys. So we'll put up the two sidebars up together, um, just because I know it's more simpler, but um, yeah. Okay, so what I just did there is it shows weirdly on here. So basically they want you to float the side rails up by yourself and then put this on top. So as you can see, I did like put it up sideways. So I think that worked better than trying to magically keep these up and then put this on top and then screw in everything. <laughs> so let's move on to the next step. Alright, so that step was easy, pretty self-explanatory, nothing, no issues with that, it was just putting these two bars up, um, oh, you gotta make sure that there's like two little dots, make sure you look at the pictures carefully cause, um, you don't wanna flip them and make them the wrong way, so there's like two little dots and you wanna make sure that is up at the top. So moving on to the next step, and it's putting in the mattress support. Okay, so I got the mattress support up. Um, I didn't have any issues with this. It was kind of hard getting the first initial um, screw in just because these other three were like all off. But um, just to make sure that the springs have to be facing up um, just for the support. But this is where you have the three different heights. Um, there's three different screw things inside and then that's where you screw and unscrew um, to adjust the bed height. So that was a good step um the next step is just basically putting all the bars up and then the headrest or the top part of the rest of the side so let's put those up and see the final finished product okay so before i put in the back piece um i do want to mention that these pieces i just put on this side and on the other side but i came across an issue where this piece from the very beginning so you guys see how there's a design um, you want to make sure that this, the design is out so same as these pieces when you put it on you want to make sure that the design is outside the crib so when I did end up putting these on this was in backwards so it didn't fit so just make sure that you put this piece um, out
final product oh my gosh you guys it is beautiful and then you know of course I had to turn on the lights for the whole full effect for you guys <laughs> so anyways my first very first impression after it's all put together is I absolutely love it I'm kind of a sucker for um, baby stuff but this is just absolutely beautiful I wish I got it in the white but like I said in the beginning um, I think this is more male friendly when my kids do grow up um, but let's take a deeper dive a closer look and then I want to address some reviews and like the top three things that people complained about and then I'll give you guys a more detailed um, review and first impression of what I think also so let's get a closer look so you have the designed backboard so beautiful nicely painted gray um, you just have the little details here it's really beautiful you guys very nicely well done and built um, let's see then you have the mattress um, holder this is like your typical metal um, yeah this came out so pretty and then you have more design down here and then um, you guys can see the design there too so it's not just plain solid like squared out um, and then if this side it's like the same thing but very very beautiful and um, I can't wait to put little Romeo in there ah! okay you guys so um, my first impression full review I absolutely love it like I said um, I'm not saying this because I got it for free or anything but I absolutely love it the details um, the assembly was pretty easy it took me about an hour and a half but then again I was filming for you guys I stopped and talked to you guys about some challenges that I went through um, the quality of this wood is really good it's really nice and thick but not too thick well it's super heavy um, it wasn't too heavy for me to move but like obviously I couldn't carry the box up the stairs by myself so I wanted to address like three top negative things that I heard about this crib now the first thing is um, the smell <laughs> you guys this thing is brand new out of the box so um, the paint or whatever the wood whatever the smell that you smell is because it's brand new it's like when you buy a new car it's brand new and you smell that new car smell obviously as time goes by and it airs out that smell will go away same thing with this I'm pretty sure that um, it'll go away yes I smelled it but I, I'm pretty sure it'll go away like anything else another thing is the bright red warning signs so um, on here it does talk about the warranty and on the very end it says please note all final as is and third party liquid air sales are not covered under our limited manufacturer warranty now what that's basically saying is that people who sell with those words in their description or whatever probably not Delta children themselves it's probably somebody who's um, disguising as them or somebody who just wants to get rid of the product um, and something is probably wrong so you don't want to buy those products anyway um, but also what's mentioned in here is that if anything is wrong or you see a damaged part don't just return the whole thing contact Delta children themselves first and then they'll try to replace the part for you or whatever so um, I just wanted to bring that to light because sometimes people don't really understand um, when they set when when words like that are put into warning signs and stuff um, that's with anything you want to make sure that especially with baby products you want to make sure that you get the actual company you want to make sure you do your research because a lot of people are selling fakes and a lot of people are selling like knockoffs that aren't really good quality but they portray themselves as like the actual company so I wanted to make sure I got that cleared another thing is the hardware that you see right here so from when I see the crib at a front angle um, you see one can you see it in the frame two three and four let me see if there's any other ones that are showing on the very back ones 
on this side you can see like the um, hardware there too now I have a gray and then the hardware is silver here so maybe if you get the dark one and you see the silver hardware that's like an issue or a problem and they should have like covers for them I do agree with that but like I said I have the gray and the silver um, hardware you can't really tell um, can you really tell when you when you're looking at my video here now not really so um, I do understand that it kind of kills the vibe and the aesthetic but I mean how else are you gonna put your crib together without the hardware um, I do wish they had covers and maybe in the future they'll sell covers for them but other than that it's not a big deal um, so those were just three main like negative reviews that I saw with this kind of crib um, but other than that uh, there's nothing that I want to say negative about it. I do also want to say that they do recommend this thing um, because one of the tools or one of the screws you hold it with this and then you screw it but you really necessarily don't need this. I just had it for like the first one because I thought I needed it and then I never used it after that. But this tool that they gave you is amazing. Um, they have like a little can you kind of see it's like a little ball at the end but this was a lifesaver because I was able to go sideways and still like screw it in and then you had ba the basic side one on the other side so I absolutely love that they had this they had all the hardware that you needed they give you extras um so that was pretty awesome too but one downfall that I did have is that there's probably 50 like slot holes that you need to put hardware in and all but three I had an issue with putting the screw in all the way but um I put it all the way in as much as I could enough but I think it was fine um it's not like a major part where the crib is gonna fall apart but I did have like about three issues with putting the screw in all the way but other than that I absolutely love this crib can't wait to put baby romeo in it again if you guys have any questions um regarding my assembly any questions at all put them down in the comment section below and i will answer them to the best of my abilities but other than that make sure you guys stay tuned because i will be posting a nursery tour featuring this thing um i have a few things that i want to put up like the canopy drape um some some more decorations on the wall it's gonna come out beautifully especially with this delta children crib so i'll link down below um their website and where you can buy this specific one there's so many different ones that you guys can choose from um there's another one that i really liked but it wasn't a convertible crib so that's why i didn't get it um but like i said it's budget friendly very good quality and it's beautiful so again if you guys have any questions put them down in the comment section below and if you haven't already hit the subscribe button down there tap the bell button to be notified every time i post a new video and i'll see you guys next time on erky's world bye